In this week's retro pop culture news, the Tiny Toons are being reboot. Also, there is a Adams Family show that's in the works. Cool Runnings, their bobsled was actually stolen. And we have a lot more news to talk about, so don't turn that dial. Uh. <laughs> what up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch and happy Halloween, guys. So we have a lot of retro pop culture news to get to, so let's get started. It looks like the Tiny Toons Adventures are being rebooted to go along with the Animaniacs revival that we found out about recently. Also, HBO Max and Cartoon Network, they're teaming up to bring us two confirmed seasons for this animated show's reboot that's officially called Tiny Toons Luniversity. From what's being reported, Babs, Buster, Plucky, and most of the original characters, they're going to be returning with the exception of Elmira. Now, she's been speculated to not be returning because she's a lot like Elmer Fudd in many different ways. And even Elmer Fudd, he's changed a lot in the Looney Tunes cartoons, but um, why she's not returning, we don't know yet. There's not any news on the premiere date or whether HBO or Cartoon Network is going to be the first to premiere the new show, possibly in 2022, but hopefully we hear more on this news really soon. Then next up, and this is my favorite news of the week, a live action sequel series of the 1964 show, The Addams Family. It's actually in the works and Tim Burton is on board to executive produce. The new series is going to be set in present day and it's going to focus on a grown-up Wednesday Adams, and it's going to be about what the world would look like to her in 2020. She's probably pretty happy with the way it is. I love the Adams family growing up and I'm really stoked to hear about this news and I'm really hoping that Tim Burton moves forward with this show. He's also in talks to be directing the episodes and with his love for the genre, I think this would be a really cool version to see. And then here's a few more TV stories that you retro fans out there should really know about. There's a brand new full trailer that's out for Saved by the Bell. And some even better news is Lark Voorhees, she plays Lisa. She recently put out a tweet that she's going to be returning to the new Saved by the Bell series. Now all we need is to get Screech. I don't know if that's going to happen. But if we do, we'll be all set. Then we have our first teaser picture for the upcoming Gremlin Secret of the Mogwai, and that is definitely a younger gizmo that's in that picture. Also, there's a trailer out for the new Ziggy Stardust movie that's all about David Bowie, and I'm really anxious to see this. Then moving on to some other news, someone thought that it was a really good idea to steal the bobsled that was used in the 1993 movie Cool Runnings. This sled was hanging outside of the outside wall at a bar in Canada when it was stolen. I was reading that it took four men to originally hang this thing up, so there had to be at least three or four people that conspired to steal this bobsled. What I really want to know, guys, is who the heck wants to steal a Jamaican bobsled. Of all the things to sell on the black market, these guys steal a bobsled? I mean, it's a good movie, but was it really that good? Also, here's some cool news for adults that used to love Play-Doh. There's some adult Play-Doh that's coming out that is adult-themed fragrances. According to Hasbro, it's gonna be Lord of the Lawn, Overpriced Latte, Grill King, Spa Day, Mom's Jeans, Dad's Sneakers. Now these are just some fun, lighthearted offerings and they might be great for stocking stuffers. And if you've been waiting for the New Wave Toys release of the 1-6 scale Dragon Slayer Arcade, it is finally out. I for one cannot wait to get my hands on this. Oh, then for those old school BMXers, Redline, they are reintroducing their BMX bikes. Also, be sure to mark your calendars. In late 2021, Smashing Pumpkins, they have a new album that's coming out, and this one is going to have a whopping 33 new songs. I can't wait. And then if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out our next video that is right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.